Hello, all my great friends on YouTube. I bet you were sad you didn't see me yesterday. Because today's Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. And after everyone was getting finished watching One Life to Live, I bet you everyone was like, where is that very sexy, attractive man? And why didn't we release a video about One Life to Live? Did all the... Anyway, Todd, the real Todd, Scarface Todd, is still in the in the works of who's the real Todd, even though we all know it's him. And Liam, poor little Liam, is still being held hostage by that evil man Brody. And he's not even feeling guilty that John was telling him, stand back, man, you've got a kid and a wife to go home to. If anyone's going to take a bullet, it's going to be me kind of attitude. And I thought Brody was going to feel guilty and just reveal everything, but no, that guy's just a dork. Such a, such a tool. Anyway, I thought it was cool storming the castle, capturing Irene Manning, bringing her to meet uh, Vicky, them fighting over the journal, Vicky telling them to break it up, all that crap, funny scenes. Then... Her finally telling the whole story, John having to wait outside. And I'm thinking, because when she opened the door and it's like, who's the real Todd Manning? I was afraid there was a third freaking Todd Manning. And, you know, there, the clone story was true, but whew, not the case, just wins. And of course, it's going to be cleared up probably like Friday or something. So we all have to wait in anticipation for tomorrow. Just me, really? No one else? Anyway. That whole chestnut. Everyone thinks poor Rex is going insane because he was trying to, he was gonna, he was gonna shoot somebody, and now he's seeing Gigi. And I know I hop around a lot. We can stay on one subject if you like. Oh wait, it's my video. <laughs> I'm just joking. Anyway, but we'll get the whole Rex thing out. Rex going insane. He'll be all right though. Um, there are a couple of theories. My mother and my sister actually have a, a bet going on right now. My mother says that Gigi is actually Stacy, Gigi's sister. I'm thinking maybe he is going crazy. Or maybe they took someone else's heart. Or maybe Gigi was moved and she's actually come back. Or maybe Gigi was cloned because they're getting mad about the Todd not being cloned. Or it's just Stacy, Gigi's sister. Anyway, moving on. Of course, we all like David Vickers. Especially his Vicar Man movie that he made. I like the part with Destiny where he's uh, trying to get Destiny to watch the movie. Destiny's talking about the, the abortion or keeping the baby. And she runs out of the room and he's like, damn, she must have read the review. Destiny, get back here and start following her. That was funny. The whole uh, Destiny thing, which breaking into the whole that thing. All those subjects done. Funny movie, all that. Anywho whole destiny thing i still can't believe uh what's her name's mom smacked her grandmother smacked nora like that with well i agree she was mad about nora using the excuse like that's all we have of uh matthew and basically do it for me attitude which he kind of was the do it for me attitude when my main thing with um which I, you know you kind of can't agree with nora too because she was just in a bad place and she kind of succumbed to those bad feelings she 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 should have controlled but yeah, yeah, I, not being a parent, not having a kid in a coma, can't really, you know, speak on that, so I'm sure the odds of that are probably not very realistic, that someone's in a, you know, your son's in a coma and his girlfriend might not have the baby, but yeah, I don't know how I'd react either. However, I know I definitely wouldn't just walk up to the woman backhand or slap her across the face just because I didn't want the woman to have a, uh, because I didn't want Dustin to have the kid, and yeah, that was an evil move, too. So two wrongs don't make a right. Neither do two lefts. And four lefts put you in a circle. Back to one life to live. I'm glad she's at least thought about it from a motherly perspective. And even if she didn't keep the baby at this point, at least she didn't look at it just as responsibility. She's actually weighing her options without trying to dive into the issue because abortion shouldn't be something you should dive into. It's not... Oh crap, I made a mistake. Let me erase the board and restart. Yeah, it's just not right. But anyway, that, that whole thing's kaput and kabundle with. Now the main focus is still the Tods. Yep, we're going all the way back to that. Two Tods. Actually, not two Tods. One Victor and one Todd. And which we all know which one's Victor. 
the dorky one. So, I can't wait till tomorrow's One Life to Live. Wednesday, midweek, they might reveal who Todd is. That way, the person who keeps commenting on my videos and sending me messages going, your Scarface Todd isn't the real Todd, my Todd's the real Todd, because we're having a Todd war right now. One Todd to rule them all. That didn't sound right, did it? Anyway. Yes, I still watch the soap. And yep, I'm going to keep watching it. I even sometimes, even if I watch the episode, uh, since someone told me, even if I watch the episodes, I like watching them again. I like watching clips of the episodes. They have these uh, right here on YouTube, old classic moments with everybody. Uh, pick your favorite character, then put classic moments, funny moments, hilarious moments, or if you want to squirt a few tears, heart-wrenching moments, you know, triumphant moments the last second. But um, there's also ABC.com. But um, there's one problem for the older episodes. Um, it's best to click... I forgot the, uh, the name of the website, but put in older episodes and Google it. Because you can't get all the episodes because the website um, updates just newer ones. And I forget how far it goes back. But if you want the older ones, put in classic One Life to Live. Because I watched an episode of when Todd first went on there. Because I wanted to see what he actually looked like when he first went on the soap. But anyway... Still backtracking. Um, my favorite character is Todd, the one with the scar face, the one I saw back in 2001. I'd like to know who your favorite uh, character is and the timeline, if there is such one like Dorian between 74 and this or whatever. So what is your favorite one like to live character and the timeline? Because sometimes they do switch characters. Post down below. And if you like these videos, subscribe. If you don't like these videos, well, you're not invited to my birthday party. <laughs>